Hey everybody, happy Columbus Day. This is Alex uh, from KeenOnTheMarket.com, Senior Technical Strategist. Uh, I'm going to go over today's recap. Uh, we had a nice little tight normal variation day. Um, you know, the initial balance was outside of range, outside of value. So we were primarily looking for short trades today, range bound trades. Uh, there was a couple trades, uh, signals that happened intraday, but nothing big. Uh, you know, a few a few hundred bucks here and there uh, is enough to be happy for today. Let's take a look at um, basically the price action. We opened down here around 1450 and change. We traded down, bounced right off this 1448. Uh, we slapped here about three times. There was actually an interesting uh, buy signal um, here, 1045, and then there was actually another one uh, slightly earlier right here on some uh, divergence metrics that we look at. Uh, the afternoon got really slow, so I was just kind of uh, hanging out, not really looking for too much trading. Uh, we actually rallied and looks like we stopped out a, um, a bunch of short traders above the high. We ended up closing here around 1450 and three quarters. So for tomorrow, we're going to be looking at some very important levels. Uh, 1450 right here, point of control. This is going to be really important for possible support resistance. Uh, 1451, this is the value area high, value area low. Around 1448.75. So those are going to be the interesting levels for tomorrow. One last thing, I think, you know. Even though we had a slow day, I think it's worth looking at the daily chart and really inspecting what happened here. Uh, we had this nice big long doji candle here on Friday, and we actually had a bearish engulfing candle. Actually, this is more like dark cloud cover, but uh, you can see that the uh, range of today was actually bigger than the range or the uh, body candle of Friday. So, again, testing this upward sort of trend line region um, sort of a double top this 1460 on the S&P it doesn't seem like the market really wants to get up and above there we haven't seen confirmation here on a on a on a major top I think we're gonna you know space kinda stuck in this range for um, you know a few more weeks so uh, going forward you could see that we could get a little bit of weakness but overall the trend is to the upside breath indicators are also quite strong so it kinda fits with uh, market making a few more um, attempts to break the higher highs. This is Alex. You can follow me on Twitter, at AlexKOTM, and we'll run it back tomorrow. Oh, there was actually a huge C CNX. There was a huge put seller today, three times, uh, 89,000 puts sold three times in three different strikes today. So take a look at that.